Hi there, Heather Steves here, and today I want to share with you a quick little journal page that I did in my book here, uh, just to finish off this double page layout. So I pre-cut some of my pieces. So I cut this little mesh out of the Ticket to Fly Free set number 2033, and then I cut the little um, heart branch piece from Planner Essentials number 25, the double heart insert. So I'm just inking the edges of all of these pieces. Um, just so that they're a little bit distressed and you can't see any of the white core from the papers. Um, I had this little love word in my stash. I had a whole pile of them, um, little word and sayings, and I just inked the edge of that as well. So I did this technique on my previous um, journal page and I thought I'd do it again. So I'm just adding shimmer from a shimmer brush or like a Wink Estella and I'm just adding that kind of all over this black mesh. I just want it to um, sparkle and to stand out um, underneath everything that I'm going to layer on top of it. So I just squeezed out a little dot of the ink there and that's because I just wanted it to be a little bit thicker. Um, this is also a good technique if you want to splatter, which is what I'm doing here next. Um, it was, I was struggling with it a little though because I was trying not to bake a mess. So anyway, I just held my brush over top of my page and just squeezed and shook and then that actually gave me a bunch of splatters on my page as well. So I'm just going to clean that up and then I'm going to work on attaching things. So I stepped away for a little while to allow everything to dry and now that it is I can start to attach everything. So yet again I forgot to put some adhesive on the back of my paper before I ran it through my die cut machine um, but I'm used to that, so I'm just going to use my liquid adhesive. So for this one, I really just mostly need to um, adhere it around the outside, but I thought I would grab this other adhesive that I had and I'll just push some of that into the middle of it. Um, it's not ideal because sometimes it can be a bit messy, but it does do the trick if I need it to. So I'm just making sure that that is stuck down nicely. It doesn't take very long for the liquid adhesive to grip and then I'm going to figure out where I'm going to put this little heart branch next and attach it down uh, with this little love word. So again I'm just going to use my liquid adhesive on here and I really just need to add it onto the actual hearts um, but what I was checking when I was doing a little dry fit there was I want to make sure that the hearts towards the love word are not stuck down so that I can kind of put them on top of the word um, so that it's layered nicely. So I get that stuck down and I actually put adhesive on one of the hearts that I didn't mean to, but whatever, it'll be fine. Um, so I'm just gonna throw some liquid adhesive on the back of this word and then I'm just tucking it under that one heart um, because the other one was already stuck down. So I'm happy with the placement of all of this, but I still feel like I need a little bit of something um, just below there where the big empty space is. So I went through my dies and I ended up finding this little um, light bulb heart um, in my set. Um, I preferred it over the other heart that I had there and it is from uh, Planner Essentials 20, the half heart page. And so I just cut that out using the same paper that I had used on the other pieces and I'm gonna adhere that down onto my page. So of course before I do that I'm going to go ahead and distress the edges and because it's a little bit of a fine um, die at the bottom there I'm just using my brush there and it's kind of distressing the whole thing and I really like the look of that and then I thought there's no point wasting this heart that came out of the inside so I might as well ink the edge and then I can use that as well. Um, so I like the placement of the light bulb and then of course the heart is going to fit nicely on my other page. So I'm just adding some more liquid adhesive to that die um, so that I can stick it down onto the page. So I think that finishes off that page nicely and then I'm just going to grab that little heart and figure out where to put it on the other side. I thought maybe it would look nice with the words there but it, it doesn't feel very balanced. Um, so I think it looks much better up at the top there. Um, much more balanced layout and that is my page complete. I really hope you enjoyed this video. Please don't forget to like and subscribe to my channel and have yourself a wonderful day.